because of time, I'll try to leave uh, some of some of the stuff that we we intend to really share with you behind for your readings at your leisure time, and I will just go and, and basically talk about the few minutes that I have about the Somaliland perspective and how we see the PFM is concerned. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to let uh, everybody know that the Somaliland government is we are committed. Uh, to having really reform uh, the, the PFM reform and any other areas that needs reform as far as the Somaliland country is concerned. Uh, as far as the uh, PFM is concerned, we do not have a pleasant experience uh, with the PFM as such and, uh, and, it, and its reform. And the reason is uh, uh, there is no, we were expecting and looking forward that expertise and technical assistance is from the international community as such. Uh, we don't call ourselves, as a matter of fact, as a fragile state, we call ourselves a very resilient state that has been 21 years without recognition, but has done and will do and committed to do it all that is necessary to have a recognized country and even better to a lot of different countries that are recognized. Uh, whether it's elections, whether it's uh, <coughs> democracy, whether it's the fight of terrorism and piracies and, 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 and radicalism in any form. Uh, Somaliland has been at the forefront for all those uh, in place, but with little reward from the international community with which we are amazed and really uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, and sometimes wonder why. Uh, but with all that said and done for those whom we were expecting to have the technical assistance and the expertise really did not, did not come through e e either. And there's a lot of money that has been spent upon within that process with which we are really saying it should not have been done in that way. Uh, no strategic approach, uh, uh, country strategy, vision, holistic approach on a long-term basis with actionable plan that's to be implemented in a properly crafted and sequenced manner based on country context. We were brought up by downloads from Uganda, another Somali land PFM reform that has, uh, that's supposed to be done in, in Somaliland. Uh, interventionists are fragmented and together did not form part of coherent and comprehensive program. What really has happened is Different ministries have been fragmented simply because the competition that the implementers have within themselves is to get certain amount of money uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to do the work. So what you have is, in, the, in terms of Ministry of Finance, you have ILO is being signed with the Accounting General, even though they are part of the Ministry of Finance, with which the minister has no even, uh, did not even know what, what really did happen conflicting implementation modalities, UNDB and World Bank. Coordination, lack of, uh, lack of coordination between the program components is currently. Problem exists not in the absence of reform programs, but in their profilation, with each plan supported by different donors, implementers amidst a tangle of cl conflicting claims to legitimacy. This will not serve the national interests and will prejudice country and attract donor support. I mean, it is really, uh, it is something that with which, uh, let's go. Why hasn't been, uh, hasn't been there, uh, the, the, why hasn't there been uh, more progress? unhelpful donor practice and poor coordination, poor quality of consultation, and divergence of interests. All round deficiencies in staff competence, lack of strategic communication and buy-in efforts, inadequate sequence of reforms due to supply driven initiatives or difficult for government to determine the path of reforms. These were generic mm -hmm. downloads that has been dumped 
on us that we has no really uh, that, that doesn't fit what Somaliland uh, is. Limited monitoring of progress, mainly concentrated inputs designed did not allow lessons learning and did not encourage born on results on the ground. And capacity constraints. The capacities that are being done in Somaliland is not, it doesn't have any creativity, it does not have any utilization, it does not have any retention. All it has is one day workshops that really does not have any tangible benefit for the Somalilanders, uh, for the donors or anyone else that, that really wants to do any, uh, any work uh, with it. And what we were looking for is technicians and, and expertise that come in who can train Somalilanders who can then retrain those Somalilanders all the way to the lower level. Perception is reality of their own and cynicism. PFM stakeholders, Ministry of Finance, Accounting General, Auditor General, Tender Board, Parliamentary Oversight Committees, Subnational Organization, Local Governments, Port Authority, Civil Society. Current, current status of cooperation, very low. The competition between donors does not help but hinders. LOO model of funding exasperates and encourages silo mindset. Not appropriate of the ones of the reform where by the parties has to move together and complement each other. PFM reform, as we know, all of us is, in some countries it takes 12 years, in some countries 10, in some countries it's eight years. This has not been explained to anyone in Somaliland when they came in. Uh, it has been, like I said, just dumped in there, did uh, have done some workshops, most of these stakeholders have no clue really what, ha what, what, the, what the PFM as such is and whether it is part of the uh, 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 standardization that, that BFM is looking for. Most of the stakeholders have not even clue and have not been explained to the way f uh, forward. Need coordinated policy dialogue between government and donors to agree on sequencing and prof profilation of reforms. What we are saying is, and we have talked to, uh, thanks to David and the EU, uh, we, ha we have s uh, sat down at the uh, 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 a high level uh, coordination group uh, with the UN in Hargeza about a month and a half ago, and we have presented a two hour program about the PFM with which we want does fit the Somaliland uh, PFM. And what we have agreed, uh, uh, talk to them about is, we want first and foremost to make a Somaliland document that's PFM of their own, that assesses and prioritizes where the needs are, assesses where the Somaliland is, what is immediate, what is medium range, and what's long range within that cycle of PFM and then prioritize within the, in that process where Somaliland needs the most, like revenue collection, with which we are with a budget of $95 million for the Somaliland government, and a 7% collection with the inland revenue of the country. It is something that we are really uh, looking for and we want to, to have that. That is not, it's not, that's what we, uh, what we want. Concentrate limited available external resources for analytical support, technical assistance, capacity building, and financing to the reform priorities of the government. Should not burden the limited capacities of Somaliland government is stressed by the multiple requirements of supply-driven interventions and competition between programs. Essential to migrate into a more comprehensive, comprehensive Somaliland donor partnership. What we want is, and we have uh, asked them is, to make a joint donor Somaliland, uh, uh, a joint, joint task force in Somaliland, based in Hergeza, that is not, that takes out the implementaries out, which means that there must be a, tri a triangular uh, 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 dialogue, the donors, the Somaliland government, and the, the implementaries. While it was before, the donors, 
the implementaries and the Somaliland government. So there is no way in which the Somalilanders have any chance to explain what they want for the donors. And we want that to be out so we can directly communicate with uh, the donors ourselves. Current practice is, is this, regional bilateral donors, implementers, UN bilateral, NGOs, and LNGOs, ministries, agencies, communi communities, and Somaliland. This is the way we work. Donors, Somaliland, implementaries, National Stra Strategy Reform Program. Somali zone classification, Somaliland, Putland, South Central. What they do is these three in one that they lump together. Somali, Somalia, Puntland, Somaliland, which has none. It, 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 it's not a fit all uh, uh, issue. Donor assistance is a channel, channelized basin, based on the administration in these zones. These zones are in different levels of development as below. Somaliland <laughs> development phase, Puntland recovery phase, South Central coming out of crisis. So we are not in the same level. And you cannot create or make a program that fits for all. Appropriate of type of assistance, problem of lumping the zones and, design, and designing interventions based on one size fits all. This disadvantages Somaliland. And we are really adamant, adamant about that. We should not be mingling and be part of Somalia and, and Bootland as we have been for 21 years by our own. Conclusion is uh, tangible project outcomes, both UNDB uh, and World Bank projects, results on the ground, relevance, effectiveness, uh, effectiveness, cost, time, value for money. Recommendations, current PFM program, uh, undertake valuation in depth, depth assessment of LOA-based UNDP PFM support program, Produce both the financial audit report and project communication reports of World Bank PFM capacity building project, and the way forward establish appropriately, appropriately designed Somaliland specific and country led PFM reform program. <laughs> establish Hargeisa based and delayed PFM joint donor Somaliland PF steering committee. Establish fully staffed PFM unit to oversee the implementation. Of the, fee, of the PFM program. Establish technical working groups for special program components focus on, on focus areas. Challenge. Assumption is starting from scratch, missing to different prevailing conditions in Somaliland, other Somali zones. Design of PFM reform programs and, equa and equality at entry. People Proper need assessment reflections on country context prior to project formulation, which means we do not want a formulated PFM that has been designed in somewhere in Timbuktu and brought to Somaliland. We really want the assessment to be done in Somaliland, and it has to be Somaliland uh, reform program. Establish Somaliland specific PFM reform programs and abandoned generic approach that is lumping together the three economic zones of what was Somalia. Near to establish robust implementation arrangement, joint Somaliland donor PFM reform steering committee, capable and probably staffed PFM reform technical committee, PFM reform, reform office probably staffed to lead the fund, which, which I really uh, talk about. Supply driven and remote control management from Nairobi, poor quality of consultation, both at technical and policy levels. Fragmented piecemeal intervention is not holistic and based on conflicting modalities. So uh, you can always stop me. At the, uh, Maybe uh, if you move to your concluding yeah. remarks now. That the, 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 what I'm really, uh, most of you can see it, uh, we leave the handouts for you. But uh, first and foremost, I uh, really want to thank uh, for David and the AU. Uh, we want to thank any implementaries, all of them, even those who we think uh, have done not so a good job at the PFM program. But what we want 
And, and what we are really eager uh, from the president down is to have a public financial management reform in Somaliland for the interests of Somaliland uh, and for the interests uh, of the donors. The other thing we want is uh, that everybody to do what they preach, which is accountability and transparency. In our path as Somaliland government, we will be accountable. We will be transparent. What we want is the implementers. On the offer side of the donors, must be accountable and, 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 and transparent with their actions, with respect. Uh, and the last piece I want to say is, uh, since I am in London uh, and in UK, uh, with which I am grateful for ODI to, go, to bring us here, um, I want to thank the, uh, the, the people of Great Britain and the government of, uh, of Britain for their uh, supportive uh, support for those many years. But I have to say, for under 70 years, we were under, under the British flag. Our fathers and forefathers have died side by side with the British people. Whether it's in Libya, whether it's in Burma, whether it's in Eritrea, whether it's in Somaliland, it's in itself. And we have the orphans to prove it that are grown up or probably died over these years. And I think with all that we have done, that's more or less, more or less, the same as what the aspiration is of the people of Britain are for and have been for centuries. The Somaliland government and the Somaliland people are basically hand in hand with them. And I think it is time. It is time that the, the, the people of, uh, of Britain and the government of Britain to look for and to speak for the progress of Somaliland. It is the interest of the international community in adhering the terrorism, in adhering pirates, in adhering uh, 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 radicalism in a lot of different ways, and geopolitically the place with which we are it's not a pleasant place to live. So within that, uh, we are thankful, but we are saying that it is time 21 years. We have done all we could uh, with meager resources. And it's, uh, it's about time that uh, the, this, uh, the people of Britain, with which we have enormous ties, no enormous ties, that to look the issue of Somaliland, uh, whether it's to put uh, on a special status or to extend it is recognition that it deserves. I thank you so much really for having me. <laughs> Minister Sahadi, thank you very much for that extremely clear and um, I think brilliantly focused introduction to the day um, for laying out how you see the path ahead so clearly. Um, for your vivid description of the challenges and also a very vivid description of the, some of the deficiencies of the approaches that have been applied up to now. I think the phrase generic downloads will certainly stick in my mind. But anyway, many thanks indeed.